How do you make your dreadlocks skinnier? What is up, all of you awesome most people? It's the Munch Blur, and today, uh, I got the time, man. Oh, hey, you know? Uh, I really need to go to sleep earlier. Sometimes I stay up really late because I don't want my whole day to just be consumed with school because I feel like I'm just wasting my day, so I want like more time in the day to do other stuff besides school. But anyways, that's that. I'll get my sleep schedule back on track soon, hopefully. But usually, what I do every day, I just got done uh, praying and studying the Bible. And for me, praying, I wasn't that into it today, I'm not gonna lie. Cause every day isn't a high day. It's not just like every day I'm just like, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, some days it's just, you know, kinda, I'm drained. I just feel super, you know, weak and tired. And obviously sometimes it's just, you know, attacks and stuff. And a lot of people, they think, oh, Christians, they just have the perfect life. They don't have any struggles or anything and blah, blah, blah. And that's really just false. Cause although God frees us from addictions and all these other life struggles, there's struggles that come with, you know, becoming a Christian, all that stuff. You know, you have to go through spiritual warfare, people persecuting you and all that stuff. Yo. Wonder, these bugs are crazy. Hold up. Do you see that bug right there? It just flew on the window like, don't. It made that noise. Don't. And there's another one over here too. But anyways, I began this. I got this question like two times, and it's how do I make my dreadlocks skinnier? I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I didn't know how to answer it at first. I was like, oh. That's a good question. How do you make your dread like skinnier? That's something I've never seen a video on, something I've never uh, thought of, to be honest, because obviously my dreadlocks are skinny enough, but I think I know how to explain this. So let me explain it to y'all. All right, so first of all, let me just take off this because I don't like wearing headbands. Actually, it's been looking pretty cool lately, but right then and there, it wasn't looking cool. So like I said, I think it's like two people who asked me this so far is, how do you make your dreadlocks skinnier? I'm just gonna be real with you. I'm just gonna be real with you. There are very, very, very limited ways to make your dreadlocks skinnier. One thing you could do, which I do not recommend you do whatsoever, is take your dreadlock and cut it down the middle. Now, I'm pretty sure most of y'all don't wanna do it. If you do wanna do it, don't do it. Why? Cause that's, first off, unhealthy for your hair. It's not gonna look right. And it's just, it's not ideal, you know? But that is one way you could technically make your dreadlock skinnier, but it's just not, just don't do that because it's, it's not the, it's not a good way. You can also palm roll your hair to, you know, squish it, you know, make it more condensed. And also crochet needle, those both kind of condense your hair, which makes it come like tighten up tight together which in a way makes it more skinnier but the thing is is it's not going to get much skinnier especially if your dreads are already locked up so those three are the only ways you can really make your dreadlocks any skinnier so i'm gonna be real with you besides that there are you, you can't make your dreadlocks skinnier and here's why it all depends on the sections on your hair if your sections are small then your dreads are going to be skinny if your sections are big they're going to be thicker which i'll say one by one inch sections are thick that's considered thick so if you want skinny dreadlocks you want to make sure you get sections that are smaller than that because let's just look at my section right now my sections are literally like only the size of the surface area of the pad of my finger but i don't want to get numbers too involved with it because i don't want people to be all mathematical about it because it's not that big of a deal but depending on how big or small your sections are that's how thick your dreads are going to be but of course as you know probably you can make dreadlocks thicker you, you can do that by combining and all that stuff which that's true yeah you can make your sections bigger but one thing you can't do is make your is make your section smaller especially if your dreadlocks are already locked up to make them skinnier you will have to make smaller you have to make them into smaller sections but that's impossible unless you literally split your dreadlocks in half so it's kind of like when you have sections, though those are the sections. You cannot go any skinnier than that. You can only go thicker. And the thicker you go, you can't you can no longer go skinnier. So even if you combine a dread and it locks up, you won't be able to make it skinnier. So you're probably like, what do I do now? Now there's two things that I recommend you do. You don't have to listen to me. But I recommend that you just stick with your hair, that you appreciate your hair and you know not worry about the thickness too much. Or if you're that committed to getting skinnier dreadlocks, then you can comb your dreadlocks out and restart them with skinnier sections. Now, some of y'all probably confused by the word I'm using section. All that means is where your hair starts at. So if you look at your hair, the section is basically the area where your dread starts at, how big or small it is. And you're probably like, I use a sponge, I don't section out my hair. Either way, no matter who, no matter what type of dreads you have, you have sections. It's just with the sponge, you can't see the sections all the way down to the root. 
but they still are sectioned out. And you can tell what the sections are just based off of the separation of the twists. So say you comb your hair out and restart your dreads, or you can even cut it a little shorter if you just want to start all the way over. But either way, all you want to do is take a small, if you like a uh, twist with gel or anything like that, all you need to do is take a smaller section. That's literally all you need to do. And then just twist it up. And a better way I like looking at it is how many dreads you have on your head. So depending on how many dreads you have on your head right now, and you want to make them skinnier by, you know, combing them out and restarting them. Then say you have like 50 dreadlocks on your head right now, but you want them to be skinnier. Then you will comb them out. Now, since you have 50 dreads, it will be 50 sections on your head. All you need to do is make more sections. So comb them out and just make more sections. So if you want skinnier dreadlocks, the higher the number needs to be. So you need to get like 60 or 70 or 80 or however skinny you want them to be. Because the key is the more dreadlocks you have on your head, the skinnier they're going to be. Like me, I have like 100 or I started out with like 120. And the reason I say I started out with 120 is because some combined, but that's just a whole nother story. I started out with 120 dreads and that's why my dreads are so skinny. I don't know if it was 120 exact, but just somewhere around there. And consider this, I have a high top fade. So if you have a full head of dreads, or need to be more, way more than that, so like 150. If you want your dreads as skinny as mine, that's just a little cheat code. So all you need to do is just resection your hair and make sure that there's more sections. And the way you can do it with the sponge is by going in smaller circles. First of all, get the sponge with small circles and sponge your hair in smaller circles. So focus on one area, don't just go all around the head like this because I would end up making your dreads a little thicker. Make sure you, you know, kind of like go slow with it in a certain area because I, because the smaller circles you twist it in is the smaller your dreads are going to be. But even if you don't want to section your hair out at all, you just want to twist it with your fingers, which I mean, I'll still be sectioning out. But if you don't want to like focus on creating the section, then you just take little strands of hair and just twist them. How thick your dreads are now, just make, you, just make sure that you twist them skinnier than that. Now, I feel like I have to say this because I feel like some people might do this. Don't go overboard with it and try to twist your dreadlocks paper clip thin. Because if you do that, then it's not gonna really look like dreadlocks. It's not gonna look the way you want them to look. Just twist them depending on how skinny you want your dreadlocks to be, just twist them like that. That's really just the biggest thing. If you don't take anything away from this video, take that away. How thick you want your dreadlocks to be, twist them in that thickness or thinness. Don't twist them any skinnier, don't twist them any thicker. And of course, when you twist your hair, especially when like you're tightening up like with the retwist or anything, and of course, it's gonna look really, really skinny as you're twisting your hair, but once you let go of that hair from uh, but once you let go of that hair after you're done twisting it and how it like kind of spirals back up and kind of you know whatever it does that's the thickness is going to be in so don't trust the thick because everybody's hair is going to look very 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 thin like as you're twisting it but once you're done twisting that dread that's how you know skinny your hair is going to be but yeah i really think it's that simple now if you don't feel like restarting your hair then don't restart your hair keep your dreadlocks but if you're really just committed and you're like man i just want skinnier dreadlocks then go ahead and comb them out or even cut them shorter if you want to and restart with skinnier sections. But that's all I really have to say for this video. If you like this video or if it helped a lot, please make sure to like it. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss out on another video from me in the future. And with that being said, I love you all and I'll see you all in the next video.